All right. I was originally going to use a regular wire brush to finish cleaning this up and scuffing it up, but <laughs> considering I have a uh, bum shoulder, I opted with getting a wire wheel to work on my drill. Now, anytime you're working with a wire wheel, especially like this, I highly recommend wearing some type of uh, glasses or safety glasses because some little metal hairs will fly off of them if you're not careful. All right. There. All right. Now I ain't gonna take it all off, this rust. I'm just wanting to get it cleaned up and any dirt that might still be remaining, like I said earlier, you know, try to get that off. So, here we go. All right, I don't know if you can see this or not, but right there, that's the reason why you want to uh, wear some kind of eye protection because these little hairs, especially for new uh, wire wheels, all of them in general, they can uh, come off and come flying in your eye. <laughs> so. That's the reason why, right there. All right, now that we got that uh, out of the way, it's time to use the uh, all-purpose cleaner. Now the kit I got, I had to dilute it. I believe it was four to one. So I had to use <laughs> the empty spray bottle, but Luckily, it's big enough. Anyhow, it's just going to want to take it, spray it good, and we're going to want to uh, let this degreaser dry in. After it dries in, we'll rinse it off with a water hose. see it's really picking up a lot of gunk there at the bottom I'm going to take this and actually set it in the sun to uh, let it dry in and dry a little bit faster. So while I'm handling it, I'm going to want to put some gloves on so you don't transfer your skin oils back over to the prep metal. And I swear these things smell just like a dentist office giving me the heebie-jeebies. All right, let's get this puppy out in the sun. <clears throat> All right, and after it dries, we'll rinse it off with a water hose to get the uh, detergent off, then we'll do the metal coating.
All right, now we're going to uh, just take it, rinse off the, the greaser. All right, we're just going to sit here and let this dry and we'll head to the next step. All right. Now we're going to move on to the uh, <clears throat> metal prep. Now, it says here in the directions, uh, you can either spray it on or brush it on or roll it on. This little kit here I got came in the bottle, so <laughs> and that's the POR 15. So, what I'm going to do is I found this laying around and figured it'd be the perfect thing to uh, pour this into. Brush that on. All right. Oh, I'm gonna sit down here. Now, what you're gonna want to do is this time, instead of letting it dry in, you're gonna want to try to keep it wet. And welcome back. Now it's time to uh, take her, rinse her off, let it dry, and start putting on the POR 15. But first, I need to grab some fresh gloves. When you're uh, working with uh, stuff like this and prepping paint, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't get your skin oils back on the surface that you're painting. So that's one reason why you wear the gloves. The second is to protect your hands from the uh, chemicals in the prep. All right, handle it like this away from the bottom of the deck okay and just take her rinse her back down All right, we're gonna sit here, let this dry, and I'll see y'all again in a few minutes. All right, well, welcome back. Okay, now we're gonna to get to the nitty gritty, and that's actually laying down the POR 15. Um, let's see here, get back to my starter kit. Get this little teeny weeny brush <laughs> hang on let me get a flat head so I can open that can Now for this, you are definitely going to want to wear <laughs> some gloves and clothes you don't want to get messed up because this stuff will not come off. 
Actually, I'm just going to set that right there. And we lay it on just like so. Now, I know that chances are I'm probably going to use about all this can, but if you got a larger can, you can take like a piece of, uh, what's that called, wax paper, put it in between uh, the can and the lid. That way it'll make it a bit easier to open it back up if you uh, need to reuse it. All right, and that's it. That's the uh, finished product. Get a few of here. I was worried that small can wouldn't be enough, but it was actually just right. I uh, picked this little kid up from Amazon. It was like 25 bucks, and it works perfect for a 42-inch lawnmower deck. I mean, as you, as you can see now, it's completely empty. And I got the whole underside coated. And I'll drop a link in the description to uh, this product here from Amazon. Now, I'll make it clear that I'm not sponsored. Every bit of this came out of my own pocket. So, yeah, there ain't no sponsors. <laughs> but anyhow, like I said, I'll uh, drop a link in the description for this particular kit. And like I said, it works perfect for a 42-inch lawnmower deck. All right, stay tuned for the next part, and I'll be actually painting it. Till then... See y'all later, and God bless.